A food truck owner shot an armed man who tried to rob the business during the lunch hour in southwest Houston. No one's in custody and police are calling it a self-defense shooting. Unexpectedly, a grandma with courage, grit, and a loaded gun saves the day in the center of Houston. Houston police say around 1 o'clock this afternoon, a 23-year-old man pulled up next to the truck on Main Street near Fondren. He asked Howard's mother and uncle what kind of food they served. When they told him, he pulled out a gun. Howard's uncle shut the window to the food truck. Police say the 23-year-old got out of his car, opened the window, put his gun inside, and fired, but it jammed. Howard's mother pulled out a gun of her own and shot the robber. What happened that day? This is a story of courage and wits, so stay on the edge of your seats as we cover the story. A stunning story of bravery and self-defense occurred in the busy streets of Houston, Texas. A daring thief attacked a grandmother's food truck, forcing her to defend herself with her gun in a life-or-death situation. She bravely addressed the threat while carrying a loaded firearm, inspiring amazement in the criminal underworld. Thank God, because she's a godly woman, that's why they jammed, that gun jammed. The robber, only described as a 23-year-old man in the parking lot. Police called this a self-defense shooting. This captivating tale shows the difficulties experienced by small company business owners, as well as the astonishing power that can be discovered in unexpected places. It is full of amazing twists and turns. Houstonians congregated in a tiny parking lot close to the city center on a typical sunny day to enjoy their preferred cuisines from the many food trucks lining the roadway. One of them was the little food truck driven by a brave granny renowned for her exquisite cuisine and kind demeanor. What started out as an ordinary day swiftly changed into a terrifying encounter. A Texas grandmother who carried a gun killed an armed robber on Tuesday who had tried to steal her family's sole food truck. Around 1 p.m., Kashonda Howard Turner, 53, was preparing food inside the Elite Eats and Cold Treats truck parked in a Houston parking lot when a male, 23 years old, drew up next to it. When Turner tried to answer the man's question about the menu, he drew a revolver on her and the other employee working in the truck. The bold burglar sought money from the grandma to rob a helpless victim. Unaware of his choice, the thief faced a fierce foe whose daring and tenacity were unmatched. The grandma showed incredible fortitude by refusing to accept the role of victim. She calmly fumbled for her own weapon, a hidden pistol, and became ready to protect herself and her company. Bystanders held their breath, unable to predict what would happen next, and the anxiety in the air was evident. She took aim with unshakable focus and steely resolve, prepared to defend what she treasured. The grandma was still threatened by the would-be thief when a burst of gunshots suddenly broke the stillness. The thief was surprised by the grandmother's prompt action and quickly fired back. The shooting exchange created a sight that would live indelibly in the recollections of those there. Shockwaves were shot through the air as a result. Turner, authorized to carry a pistol, pulled her own firearm and hit the man multiple times until the gun jammed. After taking a few steps from the truck, the young guy collapsed approximately 50 feet away, where police discovered him and declared him Turner was rushed to a nearby hospital for treatment after experiencing chest problems due to a panic episode brought on by the shooting. Police said that because she used her firearm in self-defense, they did not anticipate pressing charges against her. Although Turner was not charged, law enforcement personnel remained to gather information that they would later give to the Harris County District Attorney's Office. Besides all obstacles, the grandma showed remarkable aim, striking the target precisely with her rounds. The thief was rendered helpless and on the ground moaning in agony in seconds. The spectators were in a state of shock as they absorbed the tremendous act of courage that was taking place in front of them. Witnesses promptly called emergency services to send paramedics and law officers to the scene as fear led to action. The grandma kept a close eye on the apprehended offender to ensure he didn't pose any more threats while her adrenaline ran. This stressful situation ended when the police showed up there as the robber was quickly apprehended and sent away to bear the repercussions of his crimes. The incident's news traveled rapidly, capturing the attention of Houstonians from near and far. The brave grandma was transformed overnight into a representation of fortitude and bravery, encouraging countless people to face challenges head-on. Supportive messages poured in, showcasing the unyielding spirit of a community fighting crime together. The difficulties experienced by small company owners 
who frequently become the prey of crooks looking for easy prey, are starkly brought to light by this exceptional occurrence. It stresses the significance of readiness and self-defense for individuals putting endless effort into creating their aspirations from scratch. A wonderful lesson in tenacity and the unrelenting spirit of free enterprise may be learned from the grandmother's steadfast resolve and quick thinking. The 53-year-old grandma never imagined she would have to use her pistol. But on Tuesday, she did. The family founded the Soul Food Truck in 2020. Jacqueline Mitchell stated, This is how we make a living, and we're not trying to hurt anyone or do anything to anyone. We just want to run our business. The family claimed that although it was challenging, it was their only choice. I feel awful, the grandma who shot the thief declared. I'm not sleepy. At Elite Eats, the family is renowned for their excellent cuisine. According to Houston police, she fatally shot a 23-year-old male who drew a pistol on her. They have operated out of the parking lot near Fondren and South Main for over three years. Because I don't think I'm a hero, you get what I mean? I also want people to consider his family, she stated. I want to pray for him and my family. Normally, she does all the cooking, but on Tuesday, other family members helped out so she can rest. The culprit attempted to flee but failed and passed away in the parking lot. She said that the truck had only made $40 for the day at the time of the incident. People need to get jobs instead of trying to rob people because some people are trying to make an honest living, the grandma said. The grandma was overwhelmingly supported by the neighborhood after the incident. Her longtime patrons supported her, promising to keep eating at her food truck and spreading the word about it. From throughout the city, messages of respect and thanks flooded in, praising her for her bravery and her position against crime. The grandma was thrown into the public eye as the court case progressed. Discussions over self-defense legislation and the right to defend oneself on one's property were raised by the occurrence. Legal authorities weighed in on the situation, analyzing the facts and the severity of the force employed. The police conducted a comprehensive investigation, accumulating proof and witness accounts to make a compelling case against the robber who had been captured. All ages of socioeconomic groups were moved by the grandmother's extraordinary bravery. Her bravery inspired others to stand against injustice and protect themselves when required. Numerous individuals signed up for self-defense lessons, bought personal protection equipment, and participated in neighborhood watch initiatives. The experience reinforced the idea that regular people may remarkably impact society by fostering a revitalized feeling of community and resiliency inside the city. The grandma was honored by several institutions and organizations in remembrance of her valiant deeds. Local law enforcement administrations honored her with a Citizen Hero Award for bravery. We must arm ourselves with information, skills, and resources that support personal safety and resilience to enable people to tackle such problems. In the heart of Houston, the story of the armored grandma who defended her food truck from a would-be thief has become a legend. Her persistent resolve and exceptional shooting skills attracted the attention of an entire city and served as a tribute to the fortitude found in unanticipated heroes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news of crimes daily. Remember that prompt reporting can stop crimes from happening again and shield others from danger. If you want to watch other crime and self-defense videos like this, follow the video links on your screens. And as always, we'll catch up with you in the next video. Until then, stay safe.